This one is kind of long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time with this one and not worry about stumbling over things or anything. A lot of times when I do these, I talk really fast because I I feel like I have more to say than I do, and then I run out of things to say, and then I find that I'm trying to fill time. So this is all just kind of I know that this one is long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just chill out a little bit. I might find some kind of like I don't know, like a uh, 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 license free music or something to put on in the background. I thought about doing foley work to like make it sound like pen scratches on paper throughout the uh, throughout the the drawing of this, and that's just way too much work. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm probably not actually gonna find any music either um but something interesting that just happened that i did want to talk about and there you see i wrote it on there um after i was pretty much happy with the skeleton of this picture the power went out at my house and uh so i lost all the all the progress that i had made and it was only about like 10 minutes worth of, of drawing so it wasn't that big of a deal but it was kind of like you know, I I just finally got into the groove and the power went out. So the uh the Photoshop file was uh not saved and uh I was annoyed by that. But I found out that I was able, uh because I was I was recording my screen with uh OBS, is that what it is? I always forget the letters. Um correct me if I'm wrong, but I was recording with that and somehow uh, even though the power went out, that video file was still saved. So I was able to go in and uh, take a screen capture of what I had been working on. I took that screen capture and then I was able to kind of like fill in all the parts that, you know, I, that I lost. So that was that was kind of nice. And then a weird thing happened when I was putting this video together is that I was able to watch that video that was recorded when the power went out uh, on VLC media player. But I was not able to upload it into my video editing software. It said it was an incompatible, uh, not a video file, but I was, I was clearly able to watch it. So I had to take OBS, record my monitor while I sat through that video so that I could record a new video so it was a video of a video, and that was all to uh, to make this one cohesive. I could have just left that chunk out and said I lost I lost footage here, um, but I didn't actually lose the footage. I it just you know computers happened. So yeah, I'm not talking about the picture at all. I was talking about the story of recording this picture. Um, this picture is interesting because I decided to try doing lineless painting on this character design, and it went through a very, very long, ugly phase uh, to the point that I thought I had dedicated way too much time to it, that it didn't look good, it wasn't going to look good, and I, I kept thinking, okay, I should go back and just do the outlines uh, like I do traditionally. But there, there came a point... Uh, and I don't remember if we're there yet or not, but there came a point where I realized, no, we're not there yet. Um, once I finally block in all the colors, I decided to focus on just one part of this, this character's body, and I start with that left foot that is raised up in the air. And you'll see, once that foot is done, is the moment that I finally realize, oh, I can make this work. I, I, it is going to turn out okay. Uh, so, so that's coming up pretty soon here once I finish blocking and all the colors. But it was, you know, trying new things. You know, it was, it was, it's, it's something I have wanted to try because I like the end result uh, when I see other people do it. But a thing that I just have not tried, did not have the courage to try. Um, so that is a, a testament to all you aspiring artists out there. You know, don't be afraid of the ugly phase. There it is. That's the moment. That's the moment right there that I realized, oh, I I'm doing something worthwhile right now. Um, 
So your, you know, your pictures aren't gonna, your pictures aren't gonna necessarily look good all the time. The things you try aren't going to always work exactly the way you expect them to. But if you are afraid of failing, uh, you'll never learn and you'll never grow. So that's that's my philosophy here. Uh, I'll stop. I'll stop preaching at you now and tell you this is a character. <laughs> Uh, this is a little robot guy who uh, I was invited to play a, a Dungeons and Dragons game. And I decided to uh, make a little robot cleric. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and make him actually the dedicated healer of the party. And uh, I, I don't typically like doing clerics for that reason that everybody expects them to be heal bots. Uh, but I, I decided to embrace that this time. And this character is legitimately named Heelbot. Uh, stupid joke. I know it's a stupid joke, but I like it. And, uh, yeah, so he's a, he's a, he's a, a cleric. So he, he likes to, um, fix things. My, my kind of concept for the character is that he doesn't actually differentiate between people and objects but he's a maintenance robot and that includes so so his job is to keep make everything uh make sure that everything is in working order and that includes the crew uh so he's a so he's both a healer and a a uh, a maintenance maintenance meg a maintenance medical uh droid android i guess um and uh yeah so he's he's like three foot tall uh tiny little guy and he, he just likes to fix things so that's that's this guy and uh i i i know this one's long it's like ultimately it took me of real work probably 11 hours which is less than it felt like it took. Uh, it possibly because I worked on it pretty straight in just the, a couple days. Um, there was a lot of time just like sitting in front of it that so it felt like it took a really long time and I found more than most of the the drawings that I've done. I would get to a point where I'm like, okay, I made a lot of progress on this. I need to take a break and it's only been like 20 minutes. And I think that's because I picked this very detailed art style and uh, just decided to stick with it. Here's where it's, you know, those those metal plates are starting to get those kind of like ridges. They're starting to get some uh, a third dimension to them. I kept trying to avoid just using black for the shadows, uh, but eventually I had to make things darker and darker as they kept being in the background. Uh, because I tried to do all the all the shadows before I do the highlights, and that kind of ended up getting a little hard to uh, keep track of. I'm a little happy with the uh, those red lines because uh, they they are kind of depressed into the I guess armor plating of the robot, and he's got a little uh, what do you call that a clockwork key, uh, so he's a wind up robot, which. I enjoy. I, I think it's. I guess I think it's cute. Um, I also the uh, the lamps on his headpiece there. Those are those are headlights. Uh, whereas the blue glowy bits are actually his eyes or his his visual sensory devices. Um, but I put those headlights on there because the idea is that because he's a medic and a, basically the the doctor of like a ship, uh, but a robot, they designed him to look. Uh, friendly and amicable. So they wanted those headlights to look like big friendly eyes, um, but really they're just lights on his head. Um, and I gave him a spear, because uh, I like this idea of this like three foot tall robot with like a pole arm. Uh, this is in D&D 5th edition, so technically small creatures can't wield heavy weapons, so I couldn't do anything with like a big pole arm with reach, but I, I, so, you know, that's whatever, but I like the idea of this tiny guy with a huge reach weapon. Um, so here's, here's my finished 
uh, drawing of Heelbot. Uh, this was a long one, so thank you for bearing with me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready to do another one like this anytime soon. We'll see. Thanks.